Hey guys and welcome back to the Maybelline Makeup Loft. My name is Bronte and today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me for work makeup tutorial. My work office is very very casual so I go for a really simple 10 minute makeup look. I even time myself in the morning so that's just how I roll. I just keep it simple but still keeping it a little bit bronzed and giving myself some color. So let's just get straight into the video. So today, because I'm quite red, I'm going to start off with the Maybelline Master Prime Anti-Redness Primer. I'm just going to show you exactly what I do when I'm getting ready for work every morning. Like the same steps. I basically spend 10 minutes getting ready for work. 10 minutes. I even put a timer on to time myself, make sure I don't go over. Otherwise, I will. So for foundation, I'm going to use the Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid, and this is in the color 10 Ivory. Next for concealer, I always use the Master Conceal and this is in the color 10 Fair. Sometimes I change shade depending on if I'm tan or not. Right now, because it's winter, I'm not tan. So this is the color that I'm going with and I always just put that under my eyes and then also over my lids. Then I use the Maybelline Matte Maker and this is in the color 10 Classic Ivory. Applying that and then I put it over my eyelid just to set the concealer, otherwise my eyes crease. So gotta make sure you set that really well. I used to go quite heavy with my makeup, but I don't for work anymore. I go quite light. Next, I'm going to use the Fit Me Matte and Poreless, and this is no, normal to oily skin, and this is 120 Classic Ivory, which I feel like is a bit darker. Lightly powder over my face. Then I can't do my day without a bit of bronze or contour. So I'm going to use the Maybelline Master Contour Palette. And I'm going to use the contour and the blush shade in the palette. I'm going to grab this brush here and I'm going to use the contour. I'm going to use it as a bronzer and contour shadow today. And I'm just going to apply it around my forehead just to give me some colour. So I'm not so pasty. I'm blending it in like immediate color difference and then on my cheeks and into my temple too then I grab any kind of like blending eyeshadow brush and I'll grab the same contour shade that I just used and I always apply that into my eye just basically in the crease in windscreen wipe emotions as you can see it just creates some depth and some definition and then your eyes don't look so bare personally I think it makes really opens my eyes up I don't really need to put anything on the lid, just in a corner, out a corner. Like that. And then I just use like a sort of flat brush like this and apply that on the lower lash line. Then I just go back to the same brush that I had, making sure there's no product on there and using the blush shade on my cheeks. I never used to be a blush gal, but I really like this blush. So I think it just adds that little bit extra when I'm not using like any eyeshadow or liner or anything. Using the color 100 Molten Gold of the Master Chrome Highlight, my favorite, I'm going to highlight my brow bone and then also my cheeks. I can't live a day without a highlight, let's be honest. I mean, I've got to have a good, strong highlight game. Then I spray my face setting with the Maybelline Master Fix. Feeling fresh, 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 fresh. For lips, I'm going to use the Superstay Matte Ink and this is in the color 55 Driver. Normally just go for any kind of nude glossy tone. Sometimes I even just put on baby lips if I just feel like lip gloss, especially in winter when it's dry. Or if you don't want to use like a matte lipstick, I also really like the Vivid Hot Lacquer and this is in the color 64 Unreal. I'll just put that over the top just to show you. Super glossy. Even without the matte ink, it still adds a really nice color if you don't want to, if you want more of a gloss look. For lashes today, I'm going to use the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. 
just put, putting that on the top and bottom lashes. And then here you have it. That was the finished look of the day. Super simple for work, but still enough to make you look glam and that little bit extra, but not taking that much time to do it either. So I hope you guys liked us. Let us know in the comments below what you would like to see next. And if you like these quick, easy makeup videos, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not already, please subscribe to the Maybelline Makeup Loft and hopefully I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye guys.